Hello YouTube, this is Toyflex22 here. Oh, I'm making a video. Oh yeah. Um, as you guys know, uh, Carbide Vanguard is getting a reboot with V BT01. So I was like, why not? And I saw on eBay that this seller was selling 30 booster packs for $14.99. So I decided to go ham and I bought a uh, 150 booster packs. Um, I said it wasn't scaled, but I mean, they're like from boost uh, blister packs from I believe Walmart. And yeah, I mean, I should probably stop rambling, and this will be a long video. I might as well start opening these. So, yeah, as you can tell, uh, Future Night Lou has gotten a. Uh, oh, look, starting off the hollow Vortex Dragon, which uh, has. Got in a retrain. Yeah, uh, everything has all these cards have. Uh, oh my lord, you know, like this tape is very strong. Oh, I ripped something. Oh, price tag. Right, we're strike at Tejas. I remember that card used to be okay. I, I don't think it actually got a a new version of it. That was actually a pretty interesting card. Yeah. You could attack the back row, which is pretty good. Sadly, there's no ride chains. Bloody Hercules. This card, uh, the new card's actually really, really nice. Uh, on hit pressure and gives power to rear guards. So, that's actually really cool. Ooh, Future Knight Lou. Yep, with premium, this card has really went up because it provides soul for the new soul saver. Oh, uh, see that. Yeah, I'm kind of. I bought a bunch of them, so hopefully I could pull maybe at the very least three of them. Right, let's put that off to the side. And also, uh, Barco went up in price since uh, now you can use them as a starter in premium. Another one of these wyvern strike. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, neat cards in set one, despite being the set being super super outdated. Oracle Guardian of Pollen. I know for the reboot, I'll be playing OTC for a while because Genesis is not out yet. <laughs> that was it. And oh, <laughs> we pulled three of these so far. Wow. <laughs> Launch of Smogus, which is interesting. It is one of the uh, that and uh, the One Riser card. Uh, the battle riser yeah those are the only two triggers i believe no, i'm wrong maybe there's three triggers that do that they're they're forerunners and oh got demon slaying knight logren oh yeah i forgot mega blast for a thing back in the day sadly there's uh no new mega blast but <laughs> what he does again what attack kit Mega Blast retire all your opponent's rear guards. Wow. <laughs> High speed Brocky. The new uh, uh, Spike Murder stuff is actually looking pretty cool. Like Brocky, Wonder Boy, and Dragonaut Maximum. Um, they all have virtually the same skill. During, I think the beginning of the main phase, uh, you put it into the soul. And then uh, you put a norm uh, card from the drop from the deck and you call another one out. It's pretty nice. That is Sister Mocha. Make that pass, bro. I better do 
just that. Brutal Jack. Sadly, he didn't come back. With all the restraint, which I don't think there's any cards of restraint so far that's been revealed. Oh, there you go, Juggernaut Maximum. <laughs> Soul Blast 1 when it attacks, plus 5k. Remember when the spike players were actually pretty decent? Now they're just a bunch of uh, OTK decks. Oh, I'm wrong. Another Megacon card? I kind of forgot about that card. Oh, <laughs> little Wingle. Oh, another Brutal Jack. I should have really taken off all this tape. And Demon Eater, another Mega Blast card for Dark Irregulars. But I think No Life King Death Knight will be the main card. If I can also do them. Wonder Boy. Got a Candle Blast 2 on hit card. Made in the Libra for OTT. And ooh, Dragon Knight Alf. You have a final armament bar and tar. You get superior right into Barn of Victory Elf. Wonder if we're gonna pull that. Nubatama card. Back then when Nubatama was the laughing stock because it only had four cards for it. And now everyone thinks they hate Nubatama. Tyrant Deathrix. And ooh, our first triple R, Dragonic Overlord. And it's the alternate art. It's really cool looking. Put that off to the side. Apollon. So far, I mean, looking pretty nice. We got a triple R so far, a bunch of doubles. All dragon boy tops. Another Tachikaze card. Yeah. Ooh, dragon Knight in our hall. Cool. Back when 10k vanilla were like the biggest thing. Now there's a bunch of 10k that actually do have skills now. So much has changed. Another one, back to back. <laughs> Another bloody Hercules. Another Monster Frank. I don't even know how many different types of reds there are. There's 20 types. That does not look 20. That does not look like there's 20 cards so far. Oh, ooh, we got our first PG, Battle Sister Chocolate. Wow. <laughs> Back then when PGs were such a rare thing, now everyone can get PGs. Oh. I think back in the day, I think chocolates were like, what, 10 to 15 dollars? E-salts were like, I think 25, and Barney's so were uh, 35, and some of these PGs were really, really expensive. A 
funny one. I think we're barely like one fifth away. Ooh, Mana Spiritar. First one. One of a few triggers that were actually red. Light up. Power Riser, the other trigger that uh, was also a uh, forerunner. Now I think all starters now are pretty much on the right draw a card, which is nice. Oh, got ourselves another Logger. That's a 12 of Triple R's. Haven't seen any since Draconic Overlord, Commodore Blue Blood. Ooh, second triple R, Barco, wow. <laughs> I think the, also, the other uh, starter that was hollow in the set is, uh, what's it called again? Uh, Conro, <laughs> being a double R. Nice. It's like, let's put all triples here. PG there. Lou right here. I know it's faster. Ooh, <laughs> back to back Barco. Nice. Okay. Right, there's our other triples. I wonder what else we're gonna get. Oh, <laughs> and I was just talking about him, Conroe. Let's put him um, to the side there. Bad riser. I wonder if I ever get an SP in one of these packs. But I wouldn't be surprised if I don't. Oh, another Battle Sister Chocolate. Nice. I'm actually trying to collect all the OTT cards because uh, the market's pretty cheap right now since everyone's dropping all the stuff for standard. So if there's anything you want to collect, you probably should buy it now. Ooh, Mr. Invincible. And this card's really cool. Mega Blast, when it hits, stand all your units. Oh, another Mr. Invincible. And another Blight Tops. <laughs> oh look, this one's a uh, first print. Uh, I think you guys don't know. The first prints usually, when it says choose, if you do choose your Oracle Think Tank, cannot be hit. While well, this one says choose uh, one of your Oracle Think Tanks. So I guess people might have gotten confused and might have like perfect guard and guard multiple units. I mean, I don't know how is that possible before, but yeah. The, those are the two different prints. This is the reprint, first print. It's really cool to see. And another Bond Metal Spiritar. Yeah, and uh, I'm pretty sure with all my Kagura stuff, like all the leftover stuff, I'll probably just give to my friend since he also wants to collect all the Kagura cards. And I think also Tachikaze. I have to ask him. Another Battle Light. Battle Light. Battle Riser. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well. Our second Future Knight Lou. Let's put that in the sleeve real quick. Okay. So 
two down. Hoping we can get a place set. And hoo hoo. Nice. The card I always wanted. I want to get at least four of this. The original art CEO I'm Tarasu. We're talking about original arts. Uh, origin rare is uh, origin rares are gonna be really cool if you really want to high ready up your deck with the old art. But I actually prefer the new triple R art for uh, CEO Amaterasu. I wish they I wish they really used this art for uh, the Gothic Overlord. I think they used the SP art. Rudo Jack. Ooh, dot embodiment of victory elf. Activate counter blast four gains three thousand crit. You could also use it on rear guard circle. <laughs> Some stand trick stand trigger shenanigans with this. Turn on your top. Interesting. Oracle Guardian Wiseman, the original Wiseman. <laughs> oh, we got Solidar Solitary Knight Gantelot. Oh, which I hope I could pull a Blaster Blade too to go with it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> We're at the, what they call the, the rare trout. Ooh, Queen of Heart. Oh, which is cool if you get the pretty sure King of, I don't know which one's the King, but it's the technically the very first Legion. Because both the arts connect together. Hopefully we could pull that too. Come on, let's try to get some new rares <laughs> that we haven't gotten. Mr. Invincible. He's always welcome. Last time at the top. Can we end with a with a hollow? Nope, common or blue blood. All right. So at the top half, we got Barkle, Dragonic Overlord, CEO. Got five triple R's. Got a good amount of doubles. And another hollow. Ooh, nice. First Hall of the Wild, King of Knights, Alfred. Counter Blast 3, search your deck from the 1 grade 2, unless it's rough high, and call it to rear. That's really nice to get. Yeah, it's. have it all there. Yeah. Now, we get Blast Blade. <laughs> Even here. Ooh, nice. Flash Shield Assault. The Royal Pound and PG. That over there. Ooh, nice. Got our third Future Knight Lou. This is pretty fire right now. I'm surprised I pulled three. Shall we hope for a playset? Maybe? <laughs> and we got a second Flash Shield Assault. Ooh, cool. Got a third barkle. I can't really complain, but can I get an Ashur Kaiser? Oh, <laughs> well, I just said it. Got fourth future Nile Lou. Okay. Got. Ooh, SP. And actually, it's one I sort of wanted. Battle Sister Coco. Oh, I forgot that was a triple R in this set, too. It's really cool. Place on Vanguard or rear. You have an old Oracle Think Tank Vanguard. Put on top or bottom deck. It's actually really nice because I'm going to try out that new uh, uh, 
Oracle Think Tank Giza deck. Right there. Really nice. Surprised I got an SP. Oh, nice. Got King of Sword. And where did I put that? Somewhere in this pile of rares. <laughs> the first. Oh, wait. It's this side. Wait, which side was it? I think it's this side. Yeah, make a legion. <laughs> which I'm surprised they never tried to make any grade 2 legions. It's a really interesting idea. Probably not the best. Battle Sister Mocha. Second one. It wasn't the safest shipment. Oh, well. <laughs> Got a fifth future knight Lou. Interesting. Ooh, nice. Our second king of knights Alfred. I'm not sure it was a blaster blade, but. Ooh, nice. Wyvern Guard Barry. I was really hoping we could pull one. Now we got all the PGs. Mr. Invincible. Five left. We end with triple or something. <laughs> Too much to ask for. Got a, another lizard soldier, Conroe. Yeah. Finally, a hollow for once after all those rares. Another <laughs> Apollon. So Dragon Whipmaster. And last pack, we end with something nice. Round off this opening. And nope. <laughs> we started with this card and we ended with this card. Why well, strike to us? Alright, so out of 150 booster packs, which I think you're supposed to get 15 triples, I think five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got a little less than usual. Because I think how many doubles are supposed to be there? Five per box, right? Got 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So, I mean, we got about right for the odds for the doubles. Got three of each, only one Bari, sadly. Got uh, two Mochas. Pretty cool. One Gansalot. Got three of these Logrins. They have a bunch of these now. Sadly, only one Vortex Dragon. I was hoping to get more. Give to my friend. And, uh, two Mana Libras. I mean, I have a bunch of them. <laughs> two Owls. The lonely juggernaut. All right, so that concludes this opening. Uh, pretty nice pulls. Uh, maybe smash that like button, or uh, I don't even know who'd watch this video. All right, see you later.